Hello guys, uh, so uh, this is part 2 of uh, adding data to table view from an API. So this is the API that we were using. Uh, I will add it to the description and uh, again to view it as I am viewing, uh, you need extension JSON view. So get it, it's very useful. So now uh, Okay, I'll just bring it back. This is uh, where we left off. Okay, we fetch data from the API. We added it uh, to our fetched country array, which was of type country, and uh, country was our class with uh, two properties, country and capital. So let's hop over to our main dot storyboard and uh, start our process uh, of creating table. So first of all, we will add a table view. So let's drag and drop it over here. We will occupy full screen. Okay, as I like full screen. Uh, add constraints. It will be zero from top, zero from left. Okay. Oh, command Z. Just hit enter. Zero, 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 and add full constraints. Okay. Let's connect it uh, to our code file so above fetch country and it will be our country table view and uh, okay i cannot connect i don't know why i'll do it again below fetch country no i, I can't uh, i'll command b it let's see it works okay it's coming country table view hit connect okay here we have it uh, that's all we need to do so let's hop over to our uh, view controller switch it to standard editor okay so first of all let's add a, we need a one uh, protocol which is ui table view data source and uh, so after doing that uh, under view did load let's do it before we forget data source is equal to self okay and uh, command and click over to ui table view data source here uh, we have two functions which are compulsory as uh, you can see others have optional return so let's just copy the first two as we have to have to declare them copy and go back below view did load hit enter and one more thing, I always like to hide status bar so it will be preferred status bar hidden. Just uh, return true. Okay, and below this, paste the functions. So here we have it. Let's get rid of all this. Uh, now we need brackets. And same goes over here. Okay, so under. Uh, as you remember, last time we fetched uh, data and stored it under fetched country. So, number of rows in section will be really easy. It will be return fetched country dot count. So, real uh, easy part. Now here we need to create a cell. So let cell be cell equal to. Uh, just a second. So we forgot to create a prototype cell let's just add a prototype cell here let's say one and uh, cell will be of type uh, i like this way uh, okay this is what i showed you in the demo thing so it will be of this type okay and uh, i do uh, let's give identifier it will be of cell add cell uh, under identifier this is really important part okay so view controller now we need to type our uh, this uh, outlet name it will be country table view dot dq reusable cell with identifier it will be cell and uh, that's it so now we will just add cell dot now guys uh, this is known as text label and this is known as detail label okay remember 
so it will be text label dot text and it will be from our uh, this array fetched country array fetched country and here we will pass in index path dot row so index path comes from here uh, here and dot row will identify on which row we are and dot country here we have it. so cell dot detail label dot text is equal to fetched country index path it's five o'clock dot row dot capital okay and just uh, return the cell that's it so let's run the app okay uh, value of optional type you are uh, not unwrapped did you need to use okay let's just do it command r okay there is no data so what we forgot to do is once the data is fetched we need to reload our table view okay so let's get back over here and once uh, where we have printed our uh, country array get rid of that and just type self dot table view which was our country table view dot reload data and hit command R it should work this time it has to work so here we have it uh, Antarctica has no capital see it's blank okay. <laughs> so here we have it ok one more ah uh, stuff ok so uh, to extend this tutorial uh, I thought of adding a search bar for a table view so which will be a really cool thing so this uh, tutorial will be of three parts this was the second part so in the next part i will show you how to add search bar to the table view thank you guys keep watching